All right, guys, check this out. Quick little video for you. My neighbor down the street showed up here the other day with this little drawing and is working on a remodel. He does that kind of as a side hustle. And uh, this is going to be a shower bar and a soap shampoo holder for the shower. I guess where they tore out the old stuff, there was a pretty big hole, and they're kind of wanting to cover it up, so it's a little bit bigger than what you would normally think. But uh, let's get to it. All right, first thing I did was I took a piece of some stainless 304 flat bar that I had laying around, cut a piece of it off, and then ran it through the belt sander to give it a brushed look. All right, guys, here we are on the laser. First time cutting stainless steel. And uh, I was pretty happy with it overall, although there was a little bit of a burr on the back of it. And I think it just needs a little bit more dialing in with the focus and, you know, likely the speed. Um, so we'll work on that, but overall pretty happy with the, the results. Again, this is 304 eighth inch flat bar. And uh, for anybody that's interested, it's cutting at it about 100 inches a minute. And then here's the crossbar. This is some one inch tubing I had laying around. All this stuff I'm making this out of are just parts I had laying around. Otherwise, I probably would not have made this for this guy. Um, you know, because it just, you know, wasn't a lot of money in it. But here you can see I did a tab and slot design. I was pretty happy with the fit up. It was snug. You had to kind of force it in there. Sorry, I'm holding that up a little off camera, but you could kind of get the idea. And it came through on the backside with, a, with you know, a very little clearance around it so that I could just fuse this together. I'm a little bit worried that it might not be a strong enough weld back there. I was trying not to put a, heat, a lot of heat into it. But here you see the prop rod that Reed Eichner made me. Always comes in handy. It's always on my table. I use it on a regular basis. So I was just filling this in on the back with a pulse weld, like 170 amps. And uh, wanted to weld it in there fairly hot. You know, probably hotter than it should be. Um, but also didn't want a big weld on the back. So, you know, you'd have to grind it down and whatnot. So um, got that welded up. Wasn't hot overall to the touch. So no issues with, uh, you know, overheating and warping and all that. So just taking it off. And I used the table there to get a square edge on it in the, in the clamps. So there you can see the back of it. You see a little bit of a heat affected zone coming through there. But uh, here's the uh, Guru Machine Works clamp or uh, square. And you can see we got it squared up pretty nice there. So here's the crossbar rod and uh, I'm welding one side to the bracket laying flat and uh, just tweaking the settings a little bit. It's been quite a while since I've welded and if, you, if you're not in the practice of welding, it's you know something you really should do on a regular basis. But I, I haven't TIG welded anything in probably two or three months. So here I'm just using a lab jack and if you're interested in buying one of these, I'll put a link in the description on Amazon where you can pick one of these up. They're about 20 bucks and they're really handy for dialing in a you know very precise height to get something fitted up. So just getting this square and level and getting it made it up on the other side. And then uh, and then throw a clamp on it and get it welded. So again, just, just dialing it in, trying to get it as square and level as I could. I mean, if you think about towel racks, they're not really holding a lot of weight. It's not like it's a pull-up bar or something like that. So it should be plenty strong enough for, for what it is. Obviously, if you grab a hold of it or take something and bump a lot of weight into it, you know, you're probably going to knock it off the wall or bend it or pull it down. Um, but if you think about the ones that, you know, that come in houses, they're not really that strong either. So I think it's going to work for what, uh, for what these guys need. All right, guys, here's a look at the finished product. Uh, it wanted to move around a little bit when I welded it and kind of towed in on both sides, but I flexed it back out. Um, so I think it'll be good. And then here is the soap holder for the shower. And I'm going to run over it with a Scotch-Brite and kind of clean up those welds a little bit and uh, send it.